Let's take a look at the patient. In this patient, we have a situation of apical hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. This patient was somewhat symptomatic and now it was time to identify if there are elevated feeling pressures likely. In this case, we do see two measurements. We see the pulse, which is approximately 28%, and the PUX, 13%, which denotes in this case likelihood that there are no elevated feeling pressures. So combine the measurement of the pulse and the PUX, as we have noted in the previous slide, to identify if there are elevated feeling pressures in sick ventricles. If we take a look at the next example, we also denote that there might not be elevated feeling pressures. In this case, the peak atrial longitudinal strain is entirely normal, so it's 43%. The PAX of 18% is also entirely normal. So in this case, we are practically sure that there are no elevated feeling pressures. This was a patient with coronary artery disease and you can see the apical wall motion abnormality, but this patient was not symptomatic. We do know that feeling pressures are not elevated. On the other hand, we have a patient with elevated feeling pressures. You do see also a severely reduced left ventricular ejection fraction. The patient also had a severely reduced global longitudinal strain of LV strain imaging. We can identify initially that the curve entirely looks different compared to the previous images or the patients with most likely no elevated feeling pressures. In this case, we have a severely reduced pulse of only 6% and we have a PUX of only 2%. There are definitely elevated feeling pressures. So do use left atrial strain to be more sure about the evaluation of feeling pressures. In diastolic dysfunction, it's very important to take the easier way. All the measurements are very complicated, but LA strain helps us to identify and reclassify the indeterminate situations in 99%. Be aware though, it is not a standalone parameter. You need all the other parameters we discussed. Overall, the left atrial strain is quite easy to do and it is reproducible. And also keep in mind that LA strain has limitations in atrial fibrillation. There you only can use the pulse, but of course not the PUX because the atrial contraction is missing. So the A wave is missing, also the PUX is missing in atrial fibrillation.